My name is Glenn O'Hall and I am uh, on the men's senior national team. I started rowing in high school in Philadelphia uh, for uh, Roman Catholic High School for Boys. We were an all boys Catholic school in Center City, Philadelphia. Uh, and we were scholars, so our team was kind of small. Um, I rode there, I actually was able to row with my older and my younger brothers there uh, while we both went, we all went to high school. Um, after Roman, I went to Princeton University and rode for four years uh, with the heavyweight men. Uh, we did pretty well when we were there. Uh, my best result was like second at the IRA. Um, but then after college, I kind of decided I wanted to keep rowing, so I you know, joined the team. I guess how people join the team, you just talk to the coaches, show up, try out. Um, and I was sculling for three years, last quadrennial from 2009 to 2011. Uh, I was in the quad twice in the double ones at the Worlds. Um, and then in the fall of 2011, I joined the sweep team. Uh, and then I trained with the sweep team in the fall of 11 through the summer of 12 when I was in the four uh, in London with Charlie, Henrik, and Scott. Um, and we got a bronze medal. To be an Olympian, you just need to kind of go all in in everything you do. Um, I pretty much sold my life to rowing for a couple years and into the training, into the nutrition, into the recovery, into watching film like the video of us rowing and into making, you know, in my case, one boat go together with four guys, uh, managing personalities, managing yourself within the personalities, making sure you're a team guy. I think all of those aspects come together and you have to do it at a really high level because you're, uh, you're trying to be at the best in the world. Uh, getting to the medal stands great. Uh, I think a lot of people say you have to kind of enjoy the journey to enjoy the result. You know, win, winning a bronze medal is great, but you go back and you, you remember, you know, just the training practices, what went into getting that medal, how much, you know, you sacrificed, and just it, luckily enough we were able to get somewhat rewarded with a bronze medal. After London, I, I knew I wanted to come back. Uh, I definitely wanted to try out for Rio. Um, again, we got a bronze, which was good, uh, but I want to win. I think everybody wants to win. So, yeah, I took a year to myself in uh, 2013. I uh, spent it living in Los Angeles with my, what is now my wife, we were married last June. Um, so kind of, last quadrennial, it was, it was all about me, all about rowing. Me rowing, nothing I, I needed. I, I moved coast to coast in a heartbeat, had nothing attached to me. You know, housing, you know, there's my family, but no, no wives or girlfriends or anything like that. Uh, where this time I do. Um, and being married, it's probably a, it's a it's a whole different ball game because it's it's more than just you. Although I'm very fortunate that my wife is super understanding and supportive. Um, she herself is a third year medical student, so she's doing pretty cool things herself. And we're both kind of she'll be finished med school right around the time of the Rio Olympics. So it'd be good that we're both getting to like kind of a, a finish line or a checkpoint of our lives at the same time. We're both working towards um, some pretty big goals. Yeah, so I worked my year off um, 2013 working at work at the NFL and their digital media department um, in the marketing of their digital media products, uh, which is pretty cool, really cool for me to kind of step away from what I was doing. Um, I know I'm gonna, yeah, I can't row forever. I'm gonna row uh, as long as I can be really competitive, which is great, but uh, uh, it's really cool to row at the Olympics. It's really cool to represent your country at the Olympics, and it, it's an event uh, unlike any other in the world. And so you know that, okay, I gotta work really hard to get back there, and that's why. Um, so I, I know what it takes to get the Rio, but at the same time, I need to get better every day. Or using every day as an opportunity to pick something to get better at, whether it's technical or physical or both. Uh, being a better teammate, figuring out how, how to make other guys better, kind of all those little things that I think will add up across, I guess we have like 18 months now heading into, into Rio, that'll, that'll make the difference. A lot of these races come down to seconds, half seconds, tenths of seconds between medals, not medals, first and second. So you hope that you just do everything you can today uh, to put into the bank so you can cash out on race day.